nine. And our last headword was put off a full stage revision. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's start from where you ended. Okay, let me just mm -hmm. scroll down. Put off. Okay, let's start. First question. Mm -hmm. Name a sport for which the rules are fairly elementary. Name a sport mm -hmm. for which the rules are fairly elementary, please. Football, Football. is a sport. It's a sport for which the rules for which the rules are fairly elementary. Are fairly elementary. Very good. What kind of people are well known for charging absurdly high fees for the work they do? What kind of people are well known for charging absurdly high fees for the work they do? Mm -hmm. like, Royals are well known no, for well charging. No. For charging absurdly high absurdly fees, high fees for the work they do. Or the work they do. Well, for the work they do. Uh, for the work they do. Very good. When buying an expensive painting or other work of art, how can you assure yourself that it is genuine and not fake? When buying an expensive painting or other work of art, how can you assure yourself that it is genuine and not fake? When mm -hmm. buying, when buying an expensive painting, an expensive painting. Or other work or of other art. Work art. Work of art. Work of art. I can assure myself. I can assure myself that it is genuine. That it is genuine. And not fake. It's not fake. By asking to see. By asking to see a certificate. A certificate. Getting a second opinion. Getting a second opinion from an expert. From an expert. Etc. Etc. Very good. Okay. Ah, uh, excuse me. Let me uh, reconnect. Okay, okay. Okay, can you hear me okay, now? Okay, th oh, okay, thank you. Uh, okay, next. Yes. Now I'm going to give you two or three words and I want you to mm -hmm. make a sentence starting with those words, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, first first two words. Not only, mm -hmm. not only, mm -hmm. not only. Not only can she speak French, can she speak French but, she can also but she can also speak German. Speak German. Wait, under no circumstances. Under no circumstances. Under no circumstances. Under no circumstances. Should you press? Should you press this red button? This red button. No sooner. No sooner. No sooner. No sooner. Had she graduated? Had she graduated from, from university? University. Then she found. Then she a found fantastic job. A, a fantastic job. Very good. Okay. And now make a following sentences more emphatic by using inversion, okay? Number one. Mm -hmm. I had barely sat down when a cat jumped onto my lap. I had barely mm -hmm. sat down when a cat jumped onto my lap. Barely. Mm -hmm. Barely. I sat down. I sat down. When the cat jumped. When the cat jumped onto my lap. Onto my lap. Very good. He isn't a friend of mine by any means. He isn't a friend of mine by any means. By no means, by no means, is he, is he a friend of mine? A friend of mine. Very good. He rarely calls her parents these days. He rarely calls her parents these days. Rarely, rarely does she call. Does she call her parents, her these, parents days. these days? Mary had no idea we had arranged a party for her birthday. Mary had no idea that we had arranged a party for her birthday. Little. Did Little, Mary know? Did Mary know that we had arranged, that we had arranged a, party a party for her birthday? For her, for her birthday. Very good. Do you make notes in the margin of your student's book? Do you make notes in the margin of your student's book? Yes or no? No. I don't make I notes don't make note in the margin. In the margin of my student's book. Of my student's book. Very good. In a major sporting competition such as the Olympics. Do you think it's important for everyone participating to believe they stand a chance of winning in a major sporting competition such as the Olympics? Do you think it's important for everyone participating to believe they had a stand a chance of winning? Yes or no? Oh yes. In a major in a sporting major competition, sporting competition such as the Olympics. Such as uh, the, the Olympics. I think it's important. I think it's important for everyone participating. For everyone participating to believe to believe they stand a chance. They stand a chance of winning. Of winning. Very good. How do you feel when you go to buy something you've really been looking forward to getting and discover that the shop has sold out? 
how would you feel when you go to buy something you've really been looking forward to getting and discover the shop has sold out? When I go to buy, when I go to something, buy something, I've really been looking, been really forward, looking to forward to getting to and, discover and discover that the shop that the shop has sold out. Has sold out. I'd feel disappointed. I'd feel disappointed and frustrated. And frustrate, frustrated. Very good. Okay. Next. Give me an example of the words calling on. Give me an example of the words calling on, please. John was off John sick. John was off sick. So I called in on so him. So I called in on in, him. Uh, on on him to check. If he to needed check. anything. If he needed anything. Greg, do you often call in at your local supermarket on your way home after work? Do you often call in at your local supermarket on your way home after work? Yes or no? Oh, yes. I often call I in. I often call in. At our local at the, supermarket. Our local, for, uh, local, local supermarket. Super on my way home. On my way home. After work. After the work. Very good. Why might someone need to call by their office even though it's their day off? Why might someone need to call by their office even though it's their day off? Someone, someone might need might need to call by to their call office. By their office. Even though, even though it's their day off. It's their because, day off because uh, they want something that uh, they've left there. Very good. Okay, give me an example of the expression needless to say. Give me an example of the expression needless to say, please. Angela, Angela was offered a job. Was offered a job yesterday. Yesterday. Needless to say. Need to say. Needless to say. Uh, needless to say. She's delighted. She's delighted. Very good. Okay. Why do parents mean, or what do parents mean when they say their son or daughter is going through a difficult phase? What do parents mean when they say their son or daughter is going through a difficult phase? When mm -hmm. parents say, when parents their say son or daughter, their son or daughter is going through is going through a difficult phase. Is a difficult phase. They mean their son they or mean daughter. Their son or is daughter going through is going a through temporary period a temporary of rebellion. Period of a rebellion against them, against them, and it's difficult, and it's difficult to cope with, to cope with, perhaps because, perhaps because they're being grumpy, they're being grumpy and stubborn, and st stubborn. Very good. Do some university students find it hard to cope if they have to do a part-time job on top of studying for their degree? Do some university students find it hard to cope if they have to do a part-time job on top of studying for their degree? Yes. Yes. Some university Some students, university students find, it hard find it hard to cope if to they cope have to do if they have to a part-time job, part job on top of studying on top of study for their degree. For their degree. Very good. If you want twenty million pounds in the lottery, how much would you donate to charity? If you mm -hmm. want twenty million pounds in the lottery, how much would you donate to charity? Mm -hmm. If I won. If I won twenty million pounds, one million pounds in a lottery, in a lottery, I donate. I donate uh, one million pounds to charity. Uh, uh, pounds to charity. Uh, very big. Okay. Next. <laughs> Describe a traditional costume or a traditional dish from your country. Describe a traditional costume or a traditional dish from your country, please. Mm -hmm. A traditional. A traditional. Costume in my country uh, is in my uh, in my country is uh, the, the kimono. We are a uh, rich kimono uh -huh. of silk, uh, made of silk, made of and expensive also. Yeah, very good. Oh yeah, mm, it's Thanks. beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. If a gang of young men were making a racket outside your house in the middle of the night, would you call the police, go out and talk to them, or just try to ignore the racket? If a gang of young men were making a racket outside your house in the middle of the night. Would you call the police, go out and talk to them, or just try to ignore the racket? If a gang mm -hmm. of young men, if a gang of young men, were making a racket, were making a racket outside my house, outside my house, in the middle of the night, in the middle of the night, I'd, I'd, uh, call I'd police. call the police. Very good. How much do you reckon a decent tennis racket costs these days? How much do you reckon a decent tennis racket costs these days? Mm -hmm. I reckon. I reckon a decent 
tennis racket. Uh, recent tennis tennis racket cost about, about cost ah uh, cost about one ah uh, twelve thousand yen. Twelve thousand yen. Very good. Were most of the rackets in America in the 1920s and the 1930s controlled by gangsters? Were most of the rackets in America in the 1920s and the 1930s controlled by gangsters? Yes. Mm -hmm. Most yes. of the rackets. Most of the rackets. In America. In America. In the 1920s. In the 1920s and 1930s. And the 1930s. Were controlled by gangsters. Were controlled by a gangsters. Very good. If you were traveling at 80 kph, what would your speed be in miles per hour? If you were traveling at 80 kph, what would your speed be in miles per hour? If mm -hmm. I was traveling. If I was traveling. At 80 at kilometers 80 per hour. Kilometers per hour. My speed would be. My speed would be. 50 miles per 50 hour. 50 miles per hour. Very good. How does a vacuum cleaner work? How does a vacuum cleaner work? A vacuum cleaner, a vacuum cleaner works, works by sucking works dirt by sucking up through up, a tube up through a tube into a container. Into a container. Very good. What kind of food do we buy in jars? What kind of food do we buy in jars? We buy jam. We buy jam. Honey, coffee, honey, etc. Coffee, et in jars. In jars. Very good. Give me an example of thanks to. Give me an example of the words thanks to, please. Thanks. To his Thanks fabulous to work. his fabulous work. We were all able. We were all able. All, all able. Hello. Hello. Okay, we're back. One more. Okay. So the the question. Give me an example mm -hmm. of thanks to. Give me an example of mm -hmm. thanks to, please. Thanks mm -hmm. to his. Thanks to his. Fabulous work. Fabulous work. We were all able. We were all able to go home early. To go home early. Very good. About how long? Uh, about how long after taking a dose of painkillers for a headache would you expect the pain to start wearing off? About mm -hmm. how long after taking a dose of painkillers for a headache would you expect the pain to start wearing off? I'd mm -hmm. expect. I'd expect the pain, the pain to start, to wearing, start off wearing off about, about 30 minutes after taking a after dose, taking a dose of, pain killers of pain killers for a headache. For a headache. Very good. Why do grandparents often make a fuss of their grandchildren when they see them? Why do grandparents mm -hmm. often make a fuss of their grandchildren when they see them? Grandparents. Mm -hmm. Grandparents often make a fuss of the makeup bars of their grandchildren of their grandchildren when they see them because they see them because uh, they love uh, them and uh, uh, don't don't see them they don't see often. them often one more they don't see them so don't they don't see them often, often. very often. good mm -hmm. Okay, if we check into a hotel room and found it hadn't been cleaned properly, would you make a fuss about it? If we check into a hotel room and found it hadn't been cleaned properly, would you make a fuss about it? Yes or no? Oh, uh, yes. If I check If I checked into a hotel into room, a hotel room and, found and found it hadn't been cleaned, it hadn't properly, been cleaned properly, I'd make a fuss I'd about it. I'd make a fuss about it. What do we mean by a fussy eater? What do we mean by a fussy eater? By a fussy eater. By a fussy eater. We mean someone. We mean someone who is difficult. Who is difficult to please. To please as regards food. As regards food. Because there are many because things. They are many They don't things. like eating. They don't like eating. Very good. Okay. Next. Describe your daily routine. Describe your daily routine, please. I wake up at. I wake at uh, five o'clock in the morning, and then, and then uh, in uh, in the morning, and then I prepare uh, the food for my dog. Uh, huh. uh, I <laughs> I make your puppy. Uh, yeah. I make uh, breakfast for human. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, humor with the dog my, first, and then oh, family. family. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I get uh get out. Uh, I'm going to work. I'm a, I uh, go to work at. I go to work at eight o'clock. Very good, etc. 
etc. Et Very good. Okay. Would you prefer a job where you had a regular routine or one where your task varied from day to day? Would you prefer a job where you had a regular routine or one where your task varied from day to day? I'd prefer mm -hmm. a job. I would prefer a job where where uh, varied, varied, uh, varied, varied okay. from one more. Day. I'd prefer a job. I'd prefer a job where my task where my task varied from day to day. Varied from day to day. Then one. Then the one that have a regular that routine. Have a regular a regular routine. Very good. Okay. When a married couple break up, do you think their assets should always be divided equally in the divorce? When a married couple break up, do you think their assets should always be divided equally in the divorce? Yes or no? Mm, oh, yeah, yes. When a married couple, when a married breaks, couple up, breaks up, I think I their think assets, their assets should, always be, should divided always be divided equally in the equally divorce. In the boss. Very good. Why do many people feel uneasy when they think about the future of the planet? Why do many people feel uneasy when they think about the future of the planet? Many people, many people feel uneasy, feel uneasy when easy, they think about when they think about the future of the, the planet. future of the planet because because uh, they are afraid human existence so uh, will come to the end an end end come to an end come to an end very good okay what's generally the difference between the words district and region. What's generally the difference between the words district and region? The difference between the difference between the words district, the words district and region is and that region that district is generally a, used. Then the district generally used to describe to describe a distinct part a distinct of part a city of a city for official reasons of official region. Whereas region whereas region is generally used is generally used to describe to describe a distinct part, a distinct part of a larger area, of a large area, larger area, a larger area, such as a country, such as country, continent, continent, or even the world, or even the world. Very good. Where were the first English settlements on the continent of North America, on the east coast or the west coast? Where were the first English settlements on the continent of North America, on the east coast or the mm -hmm. west coast? The first. English settlements. English settlements on the continent on the country of North America of North America were on the east coast. Well, on the east coast. Very good. What's the difference between a grocer and a green grocer? What's the difference between a grocer and a green grocer? The difference between the difference between a grocer, a grocer and a green grocer and a green grocer is that a grocer is that a grocer sells all kinds sells all kinds of food. Of Food and everyday and everyday household goods. Household goods. Whereas a green whereas grocer, a green grocer specializes, specializes in selling fruit, in selling fruit and vegetables. And vegetables. Very good. Which of these sentences is correct? He tried out the hi-fi speakers before buying them, or he tried on the hi-fi speakers before buying them. Which mm -hmm. of these sentences is correct? He tried out the hi-fi speakers before buying them, or he tried on the hi-fi speakers before buying them. He tried out. He tried out the hi-fi speakers. The hi-fi speakers before buying them. Before buying them is correct. Is correct. Why? Why? Because try on. Because try is on only used is only used when we're talking about when we are talking clothes. about. Clothes and accessories, and accessories such as hats, such as hats, items of jewelry, jewelry etc. Et so give me an example of the words try on. So give me an example of try on, please. I tried on the hat. I tried on the hat. But it looked absurd. It looked absorbed. Very good. Okay. Next. What meaning can the prefix re add to a word? What meaning can the prefix re add to a word? The prefix mm -hmm. re. The prefix re. Can add the meaning of. Can the re mean the of. Okay. Can add. Can add. The meaning of. The meaning of. Again to a word. Against the word. To a word. Uh, to a word. Give me an example. Give me an example, please. At first. Um, at, first at his first attempt. Uh, at his first attempt. He failed to get. 
he failed to get into the university. Into the university. But he reapplied. But he reapplied and succeeded. And succeeded. Wait, what meaning can the prefix ko add to a word? What meaning can the prefix ko add to a word? The prefix ko. The prefix can ko add the meaning. Can add the meaning of together of to a together word. Together to a word. Give me an example. Give me an example, please. Although, Although the two nations, the two nations used, to be enemies, used to be enemies, they coexist. They coexist very happily today. Very happily today. What meaning can the prefix "un" add to a word? What meaning can the prefix "un" add to a word? The prefix "un" the prefix "un" can add the meaning can add the meaning of not of not or opposite of or opposite of to a word to a word give me an example give me an example please it was unprofessional it was unprofessional of him, of him not to unplug not to unplug the tv the tv before trying to fix before it before trying to fix it well, what meaning can the prefix inter add to a word what meaning can the prefix inter add to a word the prefix inter the prefix inter can add the meaning can add the meaning of between to a word of between to a word give me an example give me an example please the hotel offers the hotel offers interconnecting rooms interconnecting rooms for family groups for family groups very good if you had called to reserve a table at a restaurant but then discovered on arriving that there was no record of the booking what would you mm -hmm. expect to happen if you called on the restaurant to make a booking but discover on arriving that there was no record of the booking but what mm -hmm. would you expect to happen if i had called if i had a call to reserve a table a reserve table one more if i had a called uh, if i had a call to reserve a table to reserve a table at a restaurant at a reserve but, restaurant but then discovered but then discovered on arriving that on the arriving that there was no record there was no of record the booking of the booking i'd expect i'd expect uh, to uh, expect to the manager to try to uh find me a table very good one more. i'd expect the manager i'd expect my manager to find me a to table try to uh, be a table or to accommodate me Accommodate me. Very good. Mm. Next, why do some drivers carry a can full of petrol in the boot of their car? Why do some drivers carry a can full of petrol in the boot of their car? Some drivers. Mm -hmm. Some drivers carry a can carry full, a can of, petrol full of, a in petrol of in the boot of their car. Of their car. So that they always have so petrol always in have reserve petrol in, in case reserve of an in emergency. Case of an emergency. Very good. Okay, next. Why is a terrorist called a terrorist? Why is a terrorist called a terrorist? A terrorist. A terrorist. Is called a terrorist. Is called a terrorist. Because he tries. Because he tries. To create terror. To create terror. Among the innocent among citizens. Among the, the innocent citizens. Of a country. Of, of a country. Very good. Give me an example of the adjective outrageous. Give me an example of the adjective outrageous, please. I'm never I'm never inviting him to inviting a party him to a party at my place again. At my place again. His behavior his behavior was outrageous. Was outrageous. Very good. How soon oh here we go. How soon do you think it will mm -hmm. be before the world exhausts its supply of oil? How soon mm -hmm. do you think it will be before the world exhausts its supply of oil? I think it'll mm -hmm. be I think it'll be a uh, hundred years before the world before what the world exhausts exhaust its supply of its oil. Supply of oil. Very good. What often happens to people who work in a high pressure business environment and never even get away for an annual holiday? What often happens to people who work in a high pressure business environment and never even get away for an annual holiday? People who work. People who in a, high in a high-pressure business environment, in my and never even and get never away, even get away for an annual holiday, for an annual holiday, suffer from high suffer blood pressure, suffer from blood pressure, and finishing up, and finishing with up a heart attack, with a heart attack. Very good. Okay.